What's up guys, my name is Andrew Suarez and today this is going to be the first part in a new Linux series on my channel and this series is going to be called Basics of Linux Terminal and this series is going to be a few parts, I want to, I want to, uh, enough, enough parts so people can come to my channel and be able to get a, a, a decent amount of content to where they're able to learn the basics of Terminal. So, as of this series, it's going to be mo mainly focused on Debian codes, Debian uh, commands, and things like that. I am on Arch Linux, but I am, I am SSH into my own uh, file server, which is a Debian system, so that's how I'll be running the commands, mostly. And I might even do it later on an advanced tutorial where different, more higher-up commands, and maybe, um, probably even installing Arch Linux eventually, because that's that really uses all the things that we'll be teaching during mostly every all the tutorials. So... Let's jump right into it. So the first command you really should know in using Debian, and Debian really covers Ubuntu, Linux Mint, all those distributions, Linux Lite, those, those distributions are Debian-based systems, and they have all the things that I'm going to be talking about today. Now, other distributions like Arch Linux and different things like that, they use different things. They use Pac-Man instead of AppGet, and other ones use Yum and um, uh, uh, RPM. So there's different things and there's different ways to install applications. So the first command you really want to start with is sudo apt-get install. This command will install an application. So let's see if I can install htop. htop should be here. So htop is oh, it's going to actually install. So htop is a software that lets you, it's almost like task manager to see different tasks. So using that command sudo apt-get install htop, and htop is a variable, you can change that to whatever you want, Steam, Google Chrome, different, different things like that. You can change it to whatever you need it to be. And there's even other ways to install an application. You can use Ubuntu Software Center. You can go onto Google Chrome or Firefox and look up a .deb. If you're using Debian, um, most of them all have a deb manager where you just download the .deb and it will open that little manager and let you install it from there without using terminal. But I do recommend the terminal method because it will get anything it's missing. It won't tell you what's missing. Like if you're using the, the actual GUIs, it will say, okay, I need this as a dependency and you have to install that. But in the terminal, you'll get it where it's like, okay, I need this as a dependency, but I'm going to get that for you while I download. So different things like that. Now, the next command you really should know is updating. So sudo apt-get update. This will update your Debian system. So this will get anything new, anything that it decides. It's like, okay, I need this package. I need this from the repository. There is an update available. So now that that's done, now you can see all these different, um, these are all different repositories. So since this is a DigitalOcean server, a lot of di DigitalOcean has its own mirrors and PPAs that it has inside the server, uh, trust, trusty updates, different things like that, probably for compatibility so you don't break your server down if something really big updates. You don't want to have it where you update your server and then you're immediately disconnected because something really major got updated. So one thing that I recommend for updating your Linux system is to make sure that you update about once a week. I would say because for me at least, if I leave Arch Linux, well, Arch Linux is, is very new and where it gets it gets all the newest packages, so there is a lot of compatibility problems and issues that arise. But mostly on Ubuntu and Linux Mint, you really won't have those problems. So if you if you update like about once a week, you should be good. You should have really no issues about like updating like two months. So like for me, I I kind of don't follow by this rule. I let I let the updates stay and stick around, and then I get like this whole big queue of updates. So I have a two gigabyte queue for updating, and it's like okay, two gigabytes needs to be updated, and that's a lot of updates that has to go on. So I recommend updating regularly, so most packages are up to date, and then the little things that they depend on don't have to update with them, because the more things that update together, and the more problems that could lead. So another command to removing programs is sudo apt-get remove and then the name of the program so the name of the program for this example will be htop what we just installed and then it will ask me do you want to remove the following package or the or, yeah do you do you want to remove the following packages and there's a couple options you can do you can yes and no but if you are you're, you're in this screen and you don't want to continue and you want to just go right back to the, the command command line you can do control c and that will bring you out and that's for any command if you're doing anything you can just do control c and it will bring you out but we're going to actually run this command and we're going to yes, and then it's going to remove htop. So very similar to installing, you just have to do sudo apt-get install to get a program. And then, now there's a bunch of other commands that I can go into, but I don't want to go that deep. So all I have a whole link that will have all the commands that are really will really go more in depth than I am in the description below. You can go take a look at that, and there'll be different commands for cleaning up after an you know, uninstallation, just in case there's things that are left behind. So that's going to be it for this video. I want to thank you for watching. Please rate, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.